Well, hello and welcome, welcome back, and welcome to part two of how to use LMS. So, without further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. And this is the new version of LMMS, and it's true, it looks amazing. I absolutely love it. Well, in today's episode, we're going to go over the second part of how to use LMMS. Uh, the last part, we went over the song editor. Today, we are going to use the beat and bass line editor. So to open it up, you click right here in the six little squares on the left, and it opens it up. Then we're going to do, uh, like we did the last time, we're going to erase the instruments that are already in here. So you go right here. And where's this action for this track? Uh, left click and then remove this track. And we're going to do the same thing for the song editor. You're going to see why in a few minutes. So let's remove these here on the side and leave this completely empty. So now we need to add an instance of an instrument here in the beat and bass line. So to do that, you go right here where it says uh, my preset. You click on it. You go down to synth as sub effects double click on that go down to collection double click on that and let's pick the very first one xylophone so to bring that here there's two ways to do that the first way you simply uh, left click hold and drag over and it opens it up right there and the uh, beat and bass line editor uh, let's erase this one or remove it the other way to do the same thing is you just double click on it and it automatically um, brings it up to the beat and bass line. Okay, so now that we brought the instrument over, we're gonna start making a melody with this. So like with the first one, you need to click on the very first little square box here, then you right click and open up in piano roll. And it opens it up in piano roll. Now you notice that I have all the notes right here are labeled. If you would like to learn how to label your notes, this is something also very simple. You come over here to edit, click on edit, go down to settings, click on settings. Then you come down here where it says enable notes uh, label in piano roll. And I love the way this is set up now because it's right here on the key themselves. So um, to enable them, you simply, you see how this is turned off? You click on it and you turn it on. That's all you do. So right here, enable notes. It was off like this. I clicked on it. I turn it on. Now, when you hit OK, it tells you, please note that most changes won't take effect until you restart LMMS. So you hit OK there. So in order for the notes to appear, you will have to turn, uh, turn off LMMS or get out of LMMS and then go back in it. And you'll see the notes right here. Now, uh, one thing that I forgot to mention in this one here. Um, as you can see, the, the tempo is still at 140. Now, if you were to play the song or start making the drum pattern for this melody at 140, it's not going to match. And I'm going to show you this right now. So anyways, let's go back into open piano roll. And let's put a, a little note melody here. And let's take a quick listen. All right, so now we're gonna highlight everything. So to highlight, you click on this little square or a box right here, the dotted box, and then you highlight everything and make it blue. And um, you hit copy, then you hit paste. And it's all right behind there. So you hit and hold control and arrow to the right and you bring it over. So let's do this again. You left click and hold, drag everything, make everything blue, copy, paste, Hit the control button and hold it and then bring it over. Now you don't want this to stay blue, so just click anywhere and automatically takes it out. So now we're going to make a little change here at the end. So to shorten this, you just get the pencil. Make sure that it turns into those two little arrows facing both, way, both ways. So you bring it down some and you place it wherever you want. Actually, I'm going to bring it down here and then I'm going to shorten this one. I'm going to leave that one there. Actually, no, let's uh, move this one here. Let's put another one there. Let's bring another one up. And this one is going to go down here. So this is an, now let's take a listen to this thing. Now 
And there you have it. We have a nice little melody. Okay, so now we're going to create a drum pattern under here. So to go to the drum pattern, you go right up here to My Samples, and you click on it. And click on Drum Synth. We're going to pick something that already comes included with LMMS. Go to CR8000. Double click it. Let's pick the kick. So double click on the kick. And it opens it up already here. Let's hit the uh, snare. Double click it. And it opens it up right here. Now you're going to see what I'm talking about now. We're going to do a drum pattern the way that the drum pattern normally goes will be like this the kick will always be on the first the snare will be on the third and then when you listen to this it's just not going to match let's take a listen and that's normally what a beginner does is they do this they place the kick here they place the snare there and they're just saying how come it just doesn't match because we have the tempo at 140. now the other way that you can fix this is you can extend the uh, the kick and the snare. So it'll be the kick here and the snare here, and it's going to match this. Now, the problem is that it stopped. Now, why does it stop? Well, let's change this to minutes and beats. Minutes to beats, I should say. So you're going to see that this here is only one beat long, while this up here it's uh i believe it's four beats long so let's take a listen and it stopped two beats for the melody i mean three bars for the melody four bars for the melody now we go back to the drum and it's only one bar long so we can do this in two ways and i'm going to show you both of these ways so the first way will be to just um add here another beat and bass line so to do that you go right here and it says add beat and bass line and you just added another one so now we're just going to take that kick and snare and put it down here okay and we're gonna go back to the beat and bass line zero and delete the one that we have here now the song or this beat it's right here on the song editor so the beat and bass line zero will be the xylophone and beat and bass line one will be the drum so you click on here and there you have it you have the uh, melody you click down here and you have the drum now when you play this you see that it stopped right there what you can do is you could just extend it and now they both match and what we're going to do is we're going to click right here on enable disable loop points and we're going to right click so it loops it right here at the end so let's take a listen now and you can do that and then what you can do here is you can say you know what let me add another kick right here and um, maybe add three kicks right there and let's listen to this now Now, what's the problem with this? It's going to be very repetitive and kind of boring. So what you can do is you could add another step here. So now you right click, go down to add steps. Now you just added another step, but we need to do the same thing at the bottom. Click down here and add a step. So now we have two steps. So that means that now we can, uh, we can add another kick. And we could add another snare. So let's add a little variation to this one. Let's see if I'm, I'm doing this correctly. And then we could put this one here. So now, when you come down here, now the, the drum is going to be two bars long. So let's take a listen to this. And that's one way of doing of uh, doing this. Uh, now the other way 
to of doing kind of similar or the same thing is let's go up here to the tempo and let's bring the tempo down to 70 because it's half of 140 which is actually the tempo that we're playing we're playing this if we were to add uh, uh, a thing to look and see how what kind of a tempo we're, we're playing it's going to be right around 70 70 something probably okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this one here but now if you listen to the melody here is very slow so what do we need to do we need to shorten all of this stuff here so the first thing we need to do is erase everything and we're gonna do the same melody but this time we're just gonna shorten it okay so let's pick the pencil again let's bring this down uh, let me see if I'm correct I could be wrong now let's take a listen so you see it's the same speed as before except now it's shorter notes and it's closer together so let's highlight all of these here copy paste control arrow to the right but now this is supposed to be right next to this one so let's bring this one over So let's carry this over. Oh, this did not work out the way I was planning. Okay, there we go. Let's highlight everything and bring it over. All right. So now let's highlight everything again and copy paste arrow to the right. Let's click on top and let's listen to this. And we could change this notes here if we want. So let's do this one here. Let's bring this one over. Let's keep that one there. Let's bring this one here. Now let's listen to this. And there you have it. So now for uh, when we go to this one here, let's see if that matches uh, the pattern that we have. And it absolutely does not. So what we need to do then is remove a step on the top. Let's remove a step. Actually, you know what? Let's not remove a step. Let's add the step right back in there. Let's remove a step here. And let's add a step up here. But now we're going to change the drums and the, uh, the snare where we place them. Because before we had to space them out because the speed was at one 40 now because the speed is um 70 so now let's see if what i'm doing is going to match here okay so i start first with the kick on the first and the snare over here so let's listen to this i think it will match there we go so it's the same thing as before but now everything is shortened because the BPM is 70. And then we could add more kicks. Let's add another one here. All right, so there we go. Let's 
just stop on here. So there you have it. Now you have two different ways of creating the same melody in the uh, beat and bass line editor. The cool thing is that you could bring it over to the song editor and um, you could start doing different things there You know, when you change it over here on the beat and bass line editor. So the two different ways was, okay, we keep the uh, tempo and BPM at 140. We space it out on uh, the drums. Uh, or we bring the tempo down to 70 and we bring the kicks and the snare closer together and it still sounds the same. Now, another cool thing about doing it with the beat and bass line editor, because I know that you're probably thinking, ah, what, what makes this so much easier, so much better? Well, one of the things is the way that you could do the drums here. I think it's a lot more fun doing it in the, uh, in the beat and bass line editor. Uh, the other thing is you could change the name to these here. So let's call this one Melody. And um, even though you can do the same thing in the other one, but there's some, something else that you can do here. Drums. And now you could change the colors to these here, which you cannot do in the uh, song editor. So uh, let's change the color. Let's make this one red and hit OK. And now that one is red. Let's change the color for that one. Change the color. Let me make this one blue. Hit OK, and that one is blue. Now, another cool thing about this, you could go down and set reset name, boom, and it automatically makes it a melody. Click on the bottom one and reset name, and it makes it drums. Now, the cool thing about this is you can move this over like this. Now, you could just extend this one. And um, let's say I just want this one to continue. I want to put another drum here, so you right click. I mean, you just uh, left click and it makes the drum pattern there and you bring the drum pattern there again. And let's just click here and put reset name. Boom. There you have it. So let's take a listen. I just love the way this looks. Just gives it that more attractive look when you look at it and it just hits you because you have different colors. And on top of that, you have the names all in there. And I, I just think it's great. So. Uh, this is it for this tutorial right now. Uh, on the third part, we're going to go into how to add the FX mixer or how to add the uh, uh, the instrument into the FX mixer and how to add into this different effects onto your uh, instruments to make them sound a little bit better. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something new with this today. I hope that this was helpful in some way. So thank you again for watching and have a blessed, blessed day.